Hey guys, so this is probably going to be my third haul video uploaded in a row. Um, there, obviously there's been time pass in between each session of purchasing, but um, still does not look good uploading three hauls in a row. Just It just doesn't. But I wanted to get this video filmed and uploaded so I can get these products put away and film a few videos with some of them and yeah, mostly I just them away so we're just gonna jump right in and I'm gonna start with the non makeup products I'm gonna start with some bath prod bath and body products first of all is a Champneys shower gel they had like a I think it was like three for ten pounds offer or three for two I forget which but I'm a big fan of Champneys and they've just recently redone their packaging and that makes me super happy because now their stuff doesn't come in glass which always made me a bit wary especially with their bubble baths Just having glass jars around the bath made me a bit scared so first of all i have this shower gel well it's a shower cream it's sort of like a luxurious shower gel it's amazing it's lavender i love having it for uh for showers and evening before i go to bed legit i will wash with this stuff and i will fall straight asleep and i'm just gonna go close my door one second fuck out some of that washing machine action Next I have a bubble bath, which turns out I actually kind of already have a bottle of this in the cupboard. I didn't actually realise until I was putting it in my bath and I was like, hey, this sounds familiar. And I think the other one was called Eastern Escape. This one is, it's now called Summer Dream and it smells like passion fruit and mango and peach and it's very, it's so nice. It smells like um, Satsuma bubble bath from the body shop but way less expensive so I'm super happy to have this and again you know it's from plastic so I don't have to worry about smashing and I love the cute pinkness the pinkness is awesome <clears throat> and lastly from Chapneys I got one of their um, indulgent body butters and this is called cloud nine um, I can't remember what this used to be called it was like an oriental kind of smell used to have ylang ylang in it but now it only has like musk vanilla and tonka but either way it smells divine very luxurious very sensual and um i'm already making steady progress through this so yeah i'm getting myself into the habit of using body lotions and everything so i'm hoping that this will set me on a path to using up all the ones i already own as well on to some skincare products. I had to pick up another tube of the Q10 Energy Serum from Nivea because mine is almost nearly nearly out so I picked up a new bottle of that and I kind of had the feeling my eye cream from Botanics was going to run out quite soon so I bought another tube of this. It's the, ra the hydrating eye cream from the Radiant Youth range and whilst I was there I picked up a tube of this and I can't remember if I mentioned this in my last haul video or not. This is the Hydration Burst Dual Action Cleanser and what this is is a um it's like an oil in gel thing. I'm not like I say I'm not entirely sure if I mentioned this in the last haul or not but I've been thoroughly enjoying it and it basically comes out like like this like a gel but it's you rub it together between your hands warm it up and it turns into an oil and you put it on your face and it acts like a cleansing oil to remove your makeup without all the mess of using a liquid oil and I've just been enjoying it so so much and I decided to go get another tube of it whilst I was in the area and also while I was there I decided to pick up another product from the hydration burst range it's a range for um, like botanics have different skin target ranges and the hydration burst range is for sensitive and dehydrated skin and this is their um, day lotion with SPF 15 and it comes in a little pump bottle it usually has like a little cap I don't know where the cap has went it has disappeared in the last 15 minutes or so in the time it took me to set up for this video the cap went missing but it's really nice it's this lovely lovely it's like a really rich lotion but it's really lightweight it just blends right into the skin 
it smells like you can smell the sunscreen in it you just, you just can there's no masking that but it reminds me a lot of an Elizabeth Arden face lotion that I had a sample of and it works just as good and it really hydrates my skin and it's a really good base for makeup and since using this I haven't had a whole lot of shift in my makeup throughout the day but I don't know if that's to do with the moisturiser or to do with the weather because you know in colder months my makeup lasts longer it just it just does so um, yeah that is that and lastly is some hair care because they had my shampoo for half price so you were getting 400 ml bottles for 199 and I got the Elvive short new oil nourishing shampoo for very dry dull rebellious hair um i think i picked up the wrong one it usually comes in a clear bottle but i'm pretty sure it'll work just as good so that's that there unless they change the packaging and put it in an opaque bottle that might be what happened you never know and then we have the lv photo store 5 which i've gone through multiple bottles of this over the over the years it's it's perfect for giving my hair a deep cleanse without stripping my hair um so yeah i love having a bottle of this around so onto the makeup portion um this is everything that i purchased from november and december um it's probably the least i've purchased this year but um it's still quite a lot of lip product so I will just get that out of the way. I did pick up the rest of the lip finity range. They're all in here, all of them, even the ones I had before. I did try and film a first impressions video with this um, but my camera cut out and knocked off like the last three or four lipsticks so that's not happening. I will however do a swatch and review video for you with these very very soon because I absolutely adore all the freaking colours. Like absolutely love them. Um, when I initially saw them in store I thought you know they're very samey. They're colours I probably already have. They are kind of. They are colours I already have but if I purchased these lipsticks first probably I wouldn't have purchased other lipsticks. If that makes sense. I love the formula, I love the wear, I love the colour range and um, I think there's only one colour that I wasn't happy with but um, that's more because it doesn't really suit me rather than it being a bad quality lip product but again I will talk about that more in depth in the swatch and review video which I should have up before the new year if not it'll be up shortly after the new year. I have I have big plans, people. Big plans. I'm not going to tell you what they are because then you have no expectation. Ha! <laughs> but also from Max Factor, I picked up another... Um, well, when I bought the lipsticks, they were like three for two. And I had an odd number, so I picked up a bottle of the Face Finity Primer because... Face Finity Primer, yo. I'm, I'm bound to use it. I'm bound to. freaking love this primer. I've gone through like two or three bottles of it already so yeah there's always room for a fourth but they also came out with these guys and these are the masterpiece nude palettes and they're eight pan palettes they are in really reflective gold packaging and i have them in cappuccino nudes and rose nudes and these are basically their competitive it is I'm t I don't know what I'm trying to say. I can't string the sentence together properly. Basically, it's their answer to the L'Oreal La Nude palette, except, you know, these are actually decent. In fact, they're more than decent. They're freaking good. I kind of, I was wandering around when I was buying the, the shampoo and I just saw them on a display at the end and I was like, oh, L'Oreal's done the eyeshadows in a new packaging oh wait those aren't l'oreal i must go see so i went and saw and these are super pigmented like redonkulously pigmented and um i've been using the cappuccino nudes every day since i picked it up so i've been using it for about a week straight now but these are just beautiful you know this is me just me pressing 
into the eyeshadow. I'm not even swiping, I'm just pressing onto it and this is the pigmentation that's coming off. They are phenomenal and they blend really well together and unlike the La Nude palette, I always found that the colours blend away really quickly. A lot of the matte shades never showed up and the shimmery shades just blended together to create a, a sort of murky shimmery mess. These these keep their definition. Um, the matte shades are really pigmented. I'm, I'm particularly in love, and this is a really weird thing to say, but I'm particularly in love with this cream shade. Oh man, if they could come out with this as a highlight, this highlight shade is like a single, just by itself. Look how pigmented it is. Can, I don't even know if I'll show up on my skin, but you notice it on your eyes, you notice it when you use it as a highlight shade, it is phenomenal, it is super pigmented, it's perfect for blending back over, over blended like crease work and things, it's just, it's phenomenal, it's phenomenal. And I think these were like, wait, I have the receipt, I will tell you how much they were. These were... Oh wow! Oh, these are quite expensive. <laughs> um, they're meant to be fourteen ninety nine, but at the moment they're on an itch price of eleven ninety nine. So I would snap them up now. But for the quality of them, I would pay fifteen quid for them. I think they're really nice, and you get quite a lot of product in them. You get, I think it's like three quarters of a gram per shadow which is quite good for a drugstore palette and it's, just, it's phenomenal quality it's amazing I can't wait to do a few looks using these guys for you and when I purchased those palettes they were also doing a gift with purchase deal so they give you a little box of goodies and this time they were all full size ones so we got a little um, nail polish in Just Cheerful got one of the false lash effects in brown black and this is a waterproof version so I'll probably keep this for summertime next year got one of the masterpiece color precision eyeshadows which is the cream shadow and this is in night sky and it comes with a little applicator and everything and whilst I'm not a huge fan of this color I'm really interested to see how they perform because I've had my eye on this product for quite a while and I've never really gotten around to picking up any. Um, there we go, stirring things away. So I will be excited to try this and see how it wears, how it lasts, how it blends, how shadow works on it and um, I may purchase other colours because they do have some really nice bronzes and a nice pink and a nice gold. Yeah. And lastly in the little goodie box was a lipstick in Scarlet Ghost and this is one of their colour elixir ones. It just looks like this. It is beautiful. I'll do a quick little swatchy. It's a nice like raspberry like ruby shade. A ruby pink shade. It is beautiful. It looks amazing on. I've already worn it a couple of times. I don't however think that this is in the permanent range and it really kind of bugs me when um, Max Factor do these little gift with purchases and they include a lipstick that's exclusive to those gift with purchases. So it's like, you know, I don't know, I just don't, it doesn't sit well with me. I mean, I, I would love to be able to like talk about these and you guys can go and purchase them but if they're like only exclusive to little boxes, you know, you can't and it's not really fair. I know we're just talking about lipstick, but you know, you know what I mean. Especially in the last gift with purchase I bought, it had this colour called, um, I think it was Star Angel Pink or just Star Pink, and it's a beautiful colour. And if I were to finish that, I would have loved to have been able to purchase a new one, and I can't because it was exclusive to that box. So yeah, that is that. I picked up a couple of basic number seven products. Um, by basic I mean top and base scope for my nails because the ones I usually get from Revlon weren't in stock and they were the only ones that I could find in boots that weren't some kind of gimmick 
that weren't some sort of like UV top coat or at home gel top coat or some sort of matte finish. I just want a basic, basic base coat and a basic top coat. It's all I want. So um, you can't really get much more basic than these guys. Um, I've got them on my nails at the moment. They're all right. I probably wouldn't purchase them again. Like my nail polish is chipping already, whereas with the Revlon one, it wouldn't be. And I feel like it took off a bit of my polish as I was painting it on, um, as I was putting the top coat on. But yeah, it'll do. It'll do. And I did pick up two powders. I picked up a new Cream Touch powder in translucent. Really, really like this powder. It's perfect sort of travel powder. It has a nice, a nice, oh, maybe not. I thought this one was better. I did. I thought this one was better. I thought they'd improved on the catch that holds the lid on. Apparently not. But it's a really nice lightweight blotting powder. It doesn't leave too much residue. It doesn't cake up on the face and you get like 20 grams of product in the container. So that is awesome. I also picked up another tub of the Perfect Light Loose Powder, which used to look like this. You used to get 24 grams. Yeah, you used to get 24 grams in a pack. Now you get 20, just 20 grams, which, you know, for loose powder, it's fine. Likelihood of you going through it in a short space of time is very slim. I've had this, I've had this tub for about five years. And the only reason I'm purchasing this one is because um, I've gone into the habit of baking my under eye. And I find sometimes the Laura Mercier one is too shimmery and this one is coloured. Um, it's in fair, which is nice if you're just dusting all over your face, but if you're baking with it, it kind of intensifies the colour, which would probably be okay in the summer. But at the moment, it's just not nice. So I picked up the translucent one and this works perfect. It's like using the Laura Mercier one but without the shimmer and I just I love it. I love it so much. Baking has changed my makeup. Um, I've been I've, I've been working on the method of baking and finding how, how it works for me since about late October. Um, I, I've really kind of gotten the hang of it. I'm more confident with it. I do it all over. Um, I do it on my forehead, under eye, my nose around here and right around my mouth, everywhere where makeup moves first and I haven't had any problem with creasing on my forehead, I haven't had any problem, well I've had a little bit of problem but you know, happens with glasses, you know when your makeup sort of collects under the nose pieces, it doesn't do it so much now but it still does it a little bit, um, my concealer doesn't move, I don't get um, demarcation lines here, um, like from touching my face or anything, it doesn't transfer as much anymore, which makes me super freaking happy. And while we're still talking about base products, I had a, a little predicament where my eye was watering and I was like, oh, my makeup's running, I will fix it when I get to work, I'll just throw on some more concealer and fix it. And then I remember I didn't have any concealer in my bag, so I made a quick stop off the boots on the way to work and picked up a Rimmel concealer because it was literally the only concealer in the store they had in my colour. Seriously. Um, I did not have much luck that day, but this is the Match Perfection in Ivory. I've had this before, I quite liked it. Um, I'm not a big fan of the squeezy tube ones because it's harder to control the product that comes out, whereas with the L'Oreal Touche Magique, you know, a couple of clicks and that does me, whereas this is a little bit more difficult to control. But it's handy to have a concealer that's going to stay in my makeup bag for touch-ups. I picked up a couple of bourgeois products. I had some time to kill and I went for a wander through Super Jug, which is never a good idea, ever. Um, but I really like what I picked up. Um, I picked up the Waterproof Contour Clubbing Liner in Purple Night and this is what it looks like. Do a quick swatchy there and it is a proper vibrant purple. Um, it doesn't have any black base in it or anything and it actually shows up that colour on my eyelids which 
has made me so super happy because I've always been looking for a purple liner like this and I've never found one so I'm happy to have this one now. Um, it was like a three for two. Uh, so I picked up one of their Rouge Edition Velvet lip products and this is in Don't Pink of It. This one I'm not... well I like it but I wish I'd picked up the other shade that was a bit more brown. This is very rosy. It's nice, I like it, but I don't know. I kind of like the other colour better and wish I'd gotten that one. I think I would have gotten more wear out of it. But it is a really nice colour. I will however say this smells like Play-Doh and that is very off-putting. So yeah, I probably wouldn't purchase any more of these, to be honest, just because of the smell. Um, I actually haven't worn this yet because of the smell. Um, if I'd known that they smelled like that, I wouldn't have bought one. Because they didn't smell like that in the shop. I don't know if this has just been sitting there for too long or... I don't know. I'll try it and see. If the smell lingers, then that's not good. But we'll see. And I picked up one of their little pot br blushes in Sienna. Um, as you can see, the colour, the, the writing is already wearing off because I've had this in my bag since I bought it. And um, there it is. Do a quick swatch -roo. There's a, a swatch of it there. I do have it on today as a blush on top of the L'Oreal bronzer and I've got some MAC highlight on. I think it's it's a limited edition one, it's their special reserve in Chiché Le Mai. Um, but yeah I've got Sienna on as a blush and I've been wearing this all the time as a blush. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of Warm Soul over the top just to give it a bit more of a glow but I've been really really enjoying this and I've found that um, Anyone who has problem getting pigmentation with their bourgeois pot blushes, they have a tendency to create a film of hard product. Just scrape it off, honest. Just scrape it off and you'll get the best use out of your product after that. Um, it will build up again, which is a bit of a bummer and it really sucks because these are quite expensive. But for the colour, I'm willing to overlook it. I am. This was definitely my favourite, well, these two aren't my favourite out of the bourgeois purchases that day. Um, and because I purchased three things, I got a little freebie, which was one of their nude smoky trio things. I don't know if this is a new launch or if it was just for the gift with purchase, but these are what bourgeois trios used to be like. Um, they used to come in a little, a little opaque compact, a little window, and the shadows used to be pressed. They didn't used to do baked shadows back in the day and these are stunning eyeshadows. There we go. And I'm looking forward to using this one a lot, like over the lid. I think it'll be really really pretty. Next is a lip liner. I finally went and purchased something from the MAC store in Aberdeen. Um, I've basically been hunting for a lip liner to go with purple lipsticks. It wasn't a pink. So many pinks. I've, I've so many pinks. And most of them ended up looking like Indian pink from Rimmel. So many of them were this colour. And you know, it's really dark, it's too pink, it doesn't really go. And all the purples tend to be like wine shades, purple shades, plum shades. And I wanted something that was like a magenta. And I thought about getting magenta from MAC, like I ended up going to MAC because I couldn't find what I was looking for in Boots or Superdrug. And I looked at magenta and it was a bit, it was still a bit too pink. And then I found heroin, which is lovely. Freaking love it. That's it on the bottom there. It is properly purple. It's great. I freaking love it. And I have this on today under Liberty Matte from the Iconic Pro Lipsticks by Revolution. And it's perfect. 
I love it. And lastly, again, is a basic essential. Needed this, otherwise I can't use any of my makeup. My Urban Decay Primer Potion. It was running out anyway, and then I went and lost it. I don't know where it went. Like, I was kind of hoping it would last until the new year. It still had quite a bit of product in it, but then I just couldn't find it. So I decided to use the Sin Primer for a little bit, and it was just way too shimmery. Just far, far, far too shimmery. It was, like, insane how shimmery Sin is, and it was getting all over my fingers, all over me. I just, no. It was not working. I had to go and get a new Urban Decay Primer Potion in the original formula. And I like that it comes now with a sort of doe foot thing and a squeezy. It's like a combination of its two previous incarnations and it just works so much better and I can get the perfect amount of product on my eyes each time. And that makes me happy. It makes me so happy. So yeah. So that was everything that I purchased in November and December. I'm really happy with pretty much everything that I've purchased. The only thing I'm really disappointed in is probably, like I don't, I don't even want to say disappointed yet because I haven't actually worn it. It's just the smell. The smell is really off-putting. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend those probably all that much, but yeah. Um, I am probably going to be going on like a, a sort of low buy in the new year. Um, I will talk about them more in my 2016 project pan sort of inventory goals which will be coming really really soon. I'm super excited to film that video and yeah I will catch you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.